let's take a quick look at how you can use Pod News to create yourself a smart link for your podcast so that you've got just one link that you can send to everyone and it opens on Google Podcasts or Apple Podcasts, depending on which device you use it on. So if you go to the Pod News site, podnews.net, run by the excellent James Cridland, I'm going to type in Podcraft. That's our show. Now, if you just type in the top corner there, scroll down and you'll see at the bottom, first it searches through all the news stories, so you can see if you're mentioned, <laughs> but otherwise you scroll down and find the podcasts here, and I'm going to click on Podcraft. And you can see there's a great page here actually, which gives you a lot of resources. So it shows you ratings on pod news, descriptions, that kind of stuff. But interestingly, down here, you've got links to all of the players. I would argue, though, that actually you just want to come down and you want to find this link here, link to this podcast, and only link to either Google Podcasts or Apple Podcasts. And you can link to both with this link here. So if I click on that, we go to the link page. This gives you buttons to actually put on your website. So this makes it really easy to find these buttons. Listen on Google Podcasts, listen on Apple Podcasts. There's actually a Spotify one here too, if you want to use that as a third. But even if you only have these two, Google Podcasts and Apple Podcasts on your website, you're doing well. That'll cater to, you know, 99% of people out there. So start by grabbing them, put them on your website. And James also... Uh, conveniently provides the code for that. So you can actually just paste this code in to your website. A couple of instructions down here. You can copy that, paste it directly into your site if you can paste in HTML. And that'll make those buttons show up. So you can put that into your template on your podcasting website. Scroll further down though, and you come to this link. Now you've got a QR code. Many phones these days can read them by default. Others, you have to download an app to read them, but that will take people to your podcast subscribe page in the right app. So if you can, uh, if people can use a QR code, get them to take a picture of that and it'll take them to Apple Podcasts if they're using an iOS device. It'll take them to Google Podcasts if they're on Android. Otherwise, if you want to get your link itself, take this link here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it and I'm going to copy the link address. And that means now I have a link that I can use anywhere. And it looks something like this. So podnews.net forward slash podcast forward slash a number. And that number corresponds to your, uh, your podcast on the Podnews site. Now, why do then? So because obviously that's kind of hard to remember. You're not going to be at an event or something and be able to just reel that off. What I do is then combine that with a tool called Pretty Link, which we use for all of our short links. And I'll show you that to create a nice short link that's nice and memorable that you can then use on your podcast and elsewhere. So here's Pretty Link. And Pretty Link's job is simply to take a complicated link and turn it into something really short and memorable. And it's a plugin for WordPress. You can get it over at thepodcasthost.com forward slash Pretty Link. And that's our affiliate link if you don't mind using it. Now, if you want to use it to create a link, let's just create one for that new short link that I created for our podcast. So click add new top there. I'm going to say podcast smart link. Uh, what I'm going to do is put in the target URL. So this is that pod news link. So we've got podnews.net forward slash podcast. And we're going to create a pretty link inside our main URL. So I could say pod link or something. I could create that as anything I wanted to. So I'm going to have pod link. And if I click update on that, that's published. And now if anyone goes to thepodcasthost.com forward slash pod link, they'll be taken to that other link, that pod news link, which will then open up the right app, whether they're on iOS or on Android. So hope that gives you an idea of how to create that smart link or how to find that smart link, I should say, on pod news, and then how to create your own short link that actually makes it really easy to give that out to anyone you like. And if you want any help with this, any more detail on how to get it done, or anything related to podcasting from launching your show to growing your show to monetization, pop over to our Podcast Host Academy, where you'll get a bunch of courses, you'll get all of the live coaching that we offer, and a really supportive community as well. You can find that over at pod.academy pod.academy. Just type that into your address bar and you'll find 
our podcast host academy. Hopefully see you there. And if not, I'll see you on the next video.